What do these three plants have in common? They all survive based on a symbiotic relationship. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Life on Earth is amazing, diverse, and full of relationships. Symbiotic relationships are close relationships between different species. Three common examples include mutualism, in which both species benefit, commensalism, in which one species benefits and the other is neither hurt nor harmed, and parasitism, in which one organism benefits and the other is harmed. So let's take a look at some symbiotic relationships from the plant kingdom. Lichen is the example of a very interesting mutualistic relationship between fungi and algae. If you travel almost anywhere that has rocks or trees, you will find lichen. Lichen come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. What's interesting about lichen is that they involve a mutualistic relationship between fungi and algae. The fungi provide structure, and the algae, by practicing photosynthesis, provides the food. As a result, the lichen can survive in places that neither the fungi or the algae could alone. The saguaro cactus is another example of a symbiotic relationship. I recently visited my sister in Arizona and became fascinated with this cactus. Young saguaro grow under the protection of a nurse tree, like a mesquite tree. As the cactus grows, it takes water and nutrients from the soil around the nurse tree, which most often results in the host tree dying. The relationship is good for the saguaro, but bad for the nurse tree. The refluza is a huge flowering plant found in Indonesia. Although it looks beautiful, this flowering plant smells like rotting flesh. Another interesting fact is that this plant has no stems, leaves, or roots. It uses a rod-like, root-like structure to absorb nutrients and water from the vines of neighboring trees and plants. It's considered a parasite because it steals food and water from the plants all around it. So there we go, three examples from the plant kingdom. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.